Unlike other planner apps, the things you see on the calendar are not tasks but working sessions of tasks. For a simple task, using the calendar session feature is enough. But if you have a complex task that can expand to multiple days, even weeks, or months apart, then task is for you. You can access the ongoing tasks by tapping the task icon in the planner. A task can be in one of five stages. Idea, to do, in progress, pending, and finalized. Let's create a new task. Let's say you want to do an email marketing campaign. It's only an idea at first so you put it into the idea stage. Enter the title and select the color. Since it's only an idea, that would be enough for now. Tap the save button to save the task. Later on, you can put the task into the to-do stage once you decided to do it, or in the progress stage if you're working on it, or the pending stage if you're still working on it but it's not in your focus at the moment, and finally the finalized stage when it's finished. There's one default note for the task but you can add as much as you like. You can add a private note which is exclusive to this task, or add one from your existing notes. In the calendar session section, you can now plan the time to actually work on the task. Tap the add button to create a new calendar session. Pick the date and time. Tap next. You can change the title and color of the session. Tap save to save the calendar session. You can see all calendar sessions for this task in the calendar view. You can quickly add calendar sessions for the task from the main screen too. Tap the create button. Switch to plan tap if not already. Select the organizers, date, and time. Select the task that this calendar session belongs to. Tap the calendar session button to create. That's it for tasks in Journalit. To learn more, please check out the user guide in the description. As always, feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Happy journaling!